Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Princess Evangel W Happiness Konomi Route. Three days after I started to wear the protective gear, I participated in sparring practice for the first time. Sparring matches use a large amount of space. I thought me taking up the dojo right before the tournament would be bad, but... It is? I didn't think a sparring match counted as real combat. That aside, I decided to take part in the match since she insisted on it. I was still inexperienced, so to start, I had the first year, Miyako-chan, act as my sparring partner. Konomi-chan stood in the center, acting as referee. After bowing to the sparring arena, we stepped forward. We bowed to one another on either side of the line, and the match began. Hmm, she's moving kind of sluggishly. It wasn't that she was moving awkwardly. She was just generally moving at a slow speed. Physical strength must play a part in this. Naginata hardly weighed a thing, but it was long. It was a difficult weapon to use even under normal circumstances. As I watched my opponent's slow movements, I underestimated her and thought for sure she wouldn't hit me, but... Flag! Snaddy! Took me out just like that. There's a lot of space between us, though. When your weapons exceeded 2 meters long, you kept an extraordinary amount of distance between each other as well. I knew as much, but it still felt like they had leapt at me from out of nowhere. I came to understand this for the first time after having a trial match. It makes sense now. As the matches piled up, I came to grips with all sorts of things. Facing, how I positioned my feet, handling my body, the movements of my hands, opportunities to strike. A number of points were scored against me at first, but I actually stood my ground and won a few matches by the afternoon. We made a request to the school kitchen and had them send ingredients to make food other than curry. Oh, I thought I thought it was going to say we're going to have more ingredients and make more curry. Today's menu was... Sardines simmered with plum? This sourness seriously gets your appetite going in the summertime. What? Sardines simmered with plum? I thought it would be nice to include some veggies with the dish, so I also prepared a lettuce green salad. Both were tasty, based on my taste test. Yeah, this came out great. Hmm? There was a bigger commotion today than usual. By that, I didn't mean that anyone was fighting. In fact, everyone was all smiles. Sorry for the wait. Everyone excitedly crowded around me. Just as I thought, yep, acting like starved school kids again. Something about how they were acting was quite different. Masaya-sama, you really are amazing. Huh? I never would have thought you could fight like that after just two weeks of weirding a Naginata. I was really surprised. Ah, ah, ah. Th thank you? For that reason, they had gathered around and gazed at me with admiration. Of course that made me happy, but I felt a tickle on my back. Hmm? I know which I was standing alone a short distance away, glaring angrily in our general direction. Uh, why are you glaring? Is everything okay? Why? Reason number one, as a warning that I shouldn't get ahead of myself for winning a couple of matches. Reason number two, because she was hungry, but we weren't eating yet. I got the feeling that it's neither of those things. L -l Let's eat for now. I said that with a stiff smile before leaving the club member's circle. You must be hungry too, huh, Konomi-chan? Hi. Reason number three, all those girls' eyes on me. Oh well. Ragging my brain about it isn't going to do any good. Guess I'll look for a chance to ask her about it. Oh my gosh, summer training camp, summer festival in the neighboring town. Ta oh, it's a lot of stuff. While this wasn't a tournament by any means, I made some great progress in my matches against the lower ranked club members. I thought I said cucumbers. Yesterday I finally won against Kikuno-chan, the second highest ranking club member. Today I was challenging the club president. There was an unusual degree of tension hanging in the air. It felt like they were all watching with bated breath, wondering how the match would end. Masaya-sama, this is a 
I wonder if we will win. Yes. It had been strangely moody since earlier, but quickly reverted back to our usual self. We stepped onto the mat and bowed to each other on Kakuno chan's command. Begin! Yeah! Oh, back to this again. Alright. Super intimidating. I hadn't even felt this from the second most skilled Kakuno chan. They both used the same middle guard stance, so why did it feel so different? Even though we were in the middle of a match, I found myself thinking that there was something different about each and every one of her movements. It was a beautiful way she carried herself, the same as I had since the very first time I saw her practicing the Naginata. It was absolutely transcendent. No! In the end, I lost a point without being able to land a single hit on her and got hit again and again until I eventually lost. The dojo was filled with the size of astonishment. I guess anyone would have terrible odds against Konomi-sama. But Masaya-sama improved so quickly. I overheard such musings. I didn't wish to become stronger for my own sake, but for what would come afterward. I wanted to help Konomi-chan improve her skills by becoming a useful sparring partner for her. Yes, that is right. Putting it this way makes me sound like a braggart, so I do not say it often, but they would be no match for me. I don't want to engage in sparring practice with her. I want to be that partner for her. Next, please. Hi. Our intense practice continued until sunset. The other club members continued to observe for the rest of the day, but no one said a word. What? Why? Is something the matter? What? What? Why? Wrist. I swung the Naginata from behind at her wrist, but she nimbly dodged it. Oh, she looks so surprised now. It's like, I didn't know you could do that. My stance was slightly shaken, and Konomi-chan didn't fail to notice that opening. Me Head hit. The moment the match ended, everyone around us let out a heavier sigh than I'd ever heard from them before. Uh, okay? I wouldn't say it was an equally matched fight, but I had certainly held my own. After removing the protective gear, the club meeting officially came to an end. Woo, that was intense. Woo! Keeping that protective gear on for so long took a lot of perseverance, given how hot it was. Really? I still wasn't able to score a single point on you, though. Whoa, don't, don't commit Sudoku! Whoa, that's, that's intense. Oh. Okay, oh boy, don't, don't do that. You should really give up on that idea either way. Huh? Yes, it definitely had gotten that way by the final match. If we were just talking in terms of persevering, I'd gotten to the point where I could do so quite well. Hmm, sorry, I'm not really capable of making that sort of judgment call. But, I did manage to react to your strike somehow, huh? I turned in my head. Konomi-chan's strikes were so fast, there was no way I could react in times on sight alone. I had a feeling that reflexes didn't explain everything. Yeah, if you're okay with me, then of course. After getting into bed, I reflected on recent events as I stared up at the dark ceiling. Now that I thought about it, it really was strange. Why was I able to stave off Konomi-chan's attacks? This seemed very important to me. As for why, the primary reason one practices was to negate your shortcomings. 
If a weak offense was Konomi chan's shortcoming, then we definitely needed to do something about it. My body was exhausted, but that thought kept my mind sharp. I wanted to become Konomi chan's sparring partner. If sparring together would improve her abilities, then it meant all of that hard work had paid off. Her strikes, huh? Strikes, strikes. And we dozed off. Hmm. I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Whoa, we just sparred with her and sh we, we held our own, guys. Oh, man, I'm excited to see what this day will be in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!